for those of you that are new here, please subscribe and like if you're interested in um, low cap cryptocurrency opportunities that potentially could change your life because that's what I'm interested in. And um, let's go on this journey together. What's going on, guys? Checking in. My name is Christopher Garcia, a.k.a. Crypto Godson. Today, I will be going over a video of how to purchase RSR, also known as Reserve Protocol, and how to get that on your ledger. So how to get money from your bank account into your ledger in the form of Reserve Protocol. Um, it sounds re relatively simple. It sounds really simple. Like, of course, just buy Reserve um, and then put on the, you know, put on the ledger. But in the crypto world, there are higher barriers to entry. The barrier to entry in crypto is too high for the regular person, you know, just coming from the regular world. That's, um, you know, just um, coming from relatively no financial background. Um, maybe it's familiar with Robinhood. The exchanges on crypto can be a bit confusing. So I want to alleviate that roadblock, alleviate those pain points for you guys today. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. So um, I'm going to jump right into it. So first, what you're going to do is just get the Coinbase app, download it, um, set up your account. And what I do is use my debit card because it's instant, even though you're going to eat a little bit of fees whenever you use your debit card. First, I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to I'm using my phone right now. Going to open up Coinbase. So I'm opening up Coinbase now. The first thing I'm going to do is purchase. Let's see here. The first thing I'm going to do is buy Bitcoin. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is click the center button. First thing I'm going to do is click the center button. Click the blue with the blue button with the arrows. Click buy. Uh, Bitcoin's right at the top. I'm typing to Bitcoin. So okay, it's logging me in. I don't have a balance right now. Literally, I have a penny. If you guys can see here. So first thing I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to put the link below. To I'm just going to do a twenty dollar one time purchase. I'm buying Bitcoin. Okay. The purchase is going through. See, I'm getting charged a dollar forty nine. The difference here is, see, at the bottom, I will I won't be able to send my Bitcoin out of Coinbase until six days pass, so I can buy it and trade on Coinbase instantly. But I cannot uh, send it off of Coinbase uh, until six days passes. So this is why I want to put my debit card number. Um, please don't use credit. Please don't use any lines of credit. Please don't take a loan. Um, don't take those type of risks with crypto. All right, so I'm buying it with my debit card. Again, charge 149. Um, I can send it in zero days if you see that at the bottom. That's what we want. We want to be able to move it immediately. So I'm waiting for this to go through. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, successfully purchased. View account. So now I got $18 worth of Bitcoin. I'm ready to send it to my gate exchange Bitcoin address. And this is how I would get, um, yeah, get it off of Coinbase, obviously, and get it in a place where RSR is supported. RSR is not currently currently supported on the Coinbase app. Um, we we could use the Coinbase wallet to swap for RSR, but they, I would be charged, you know, high fees because the Coinbase wallet is a Ethereum ERC twenty wallet. So. In other words, it's a wallet that's built on top of Ethereum. So if anything that's built on top of Ethereum, you have to pay fees in Ethereum in order to get transactions executed. And um, anything that's on Ethereum as of right now, February 2021, the fees are super high. Um, there, there are scaling issues that are causing these fees just because of the way the system's built. Um, and this, this is a, a, a focus of many developers in the crypto space. So I don't think it'll last too long that the fees will, you know, be this high, especially with all the attention on crypto in the mainstream news. But, you know, soon uh, it will be lowered. We just don't know when. So in the time, you know, so for this time, for like right now, if you want to get into RSR, it's actually better to just get it off of a centralized exchange, which is a little more risky, which is why we're going to put on our ledger. We're not going to keep it on gate. We're going to buy RSR on gate with our, um, you know, the crypto we're going to swap it for RSR, and then we're going to uh, transfer our RSR to our ledger. All right, so I'm finally logged in. I'm going to go to my funds. First thing you do, just go to my funds right here at account settings, my funds. I'm going to go to, so Bitcoin's right here at the top, exchange account. So this is how we're going to, there's a lot of confusing stuff here, but we're just going to worry about it. So go straight to Bitcoin, deposit. So we want to deposit Bitcoin. Here's our address. 
All right, so I got my ad address. I just copied it, put it in my notes section. All right, now I'm going to paste it in Coinbase. Uh, I'm just going to look at the first four and the last four. Usually that's what I do, the I-R-A-X, I-R-A-X in the first, which is 1-M-X-M. I always confirm those because there are, you know, some, I believe um, hackers can, I'm, I don't even know what it's called, to tell you the truth, but they can do something to your computer that changes like what you copy. So when you paste it, it'll be something different than what you actually copy. Like they'll put something that'll, you know, modify it. So to be their address. So make sure you always check those. Okay. So now I'm going to send it, sending this Bitcoin from Coinbase to gate.io sending now. Now I have to do another two factor authentication. So now I did in now I did today I did in gate and I did in Coinbase. Make sure you have those on both. Successfully sent. So sixteen dollars were sent. Hmm. Why didn't it send the whole eighteen? Oh, that was the fees. I think there were fees. Let's check history. Yeah, so more fees were taken out when I sent it. So two dollars and two dollars basically. So I only got sixteen out of twenty cents a gate. So now I have to wait for this uh crypto this Bitcoin to get to my gate.io account. And then once it's there, I'm going to figure out what pairs are uh, supported by RSR. So RS you may be able to buy RSR only with uh, USD Tether, Bitcoin, Ethereum. I have to figure out which one of those are supported. And then, um, so if Bitcoin supported, I can just buy RSR with Bitcoin. But if it's not supported, I need to go to, I need to buy Ethereum with Bitcoin or I need to buy Tether with Bitcoin. Either one, either way it goes, I'm going to jump into one of those with the most liquidity, with the most volume so that I don't get, you know, any slippage. I don't lose any money while I'm making this, making this purchase. That's basically what that means. I don't want to lose money when I'm making a purchase. And then I'll buy RSR. And then from there, we're going to transfer it out straight to the ledger. So I'm going to come back whenever this transaction clears. Okay, so I waited a little while and uh, I refreshed my gate.io page. And I realized um, this popped up right here. So BTC recent deposit record. I do have a new record, which is the one we just did. As of right now, we only have one confirmation out of two. So the status is still pending. Um, like I showed you guys um, on blockchain.com, you can monitor the real time status. But um, the, so obviously the blockchain is communicating with gate.io to display this one confirmation. So once we get two, the money will be deposited in our account and then we can move forward. All right, guys. So our transaction was actually approved and confirmed. We have two confirmations. So our transaction was approved and deposited into gate.io. As you can see here, we have two out of two confirmations and the status is done. Uh, overall, so um, from when I sent the when I sent the Coinbase from Coinbase to gate.io, it took about 30 minutes. So just to give you a feel for how long these Bitcoin transactions can take, um, sometimes it, it will take longer. Sometimes it'll be, you know, within a minute. Sometimes, you know, I've, I've experienced both. So keep that in mind when making transactions on the blockchain. So next, I'm going to go to my balances right here on the left. All right. So. Right here, we see our uh, $18 has been accepted into Bitcoin. So I'm going to go ahead and click hide zero balances just so I can, you know, uh, just make it more clear, make it more clear on the screen. So next, we're going to see what we can do. So first thing you want to do is figure out what pairs are supported uh, with respect to RSR. So let's go to markets. And then first thing I'm going to do is just search. I'm just going to type in RSR. So RSR is supported for, uh, so if I wanted to buy RSR, I will be able to purchase RSR with USD Tether, which is a stable coin that is equivalent to the US dollar. Let's go to the B BTC market, type in ISR, RSR. Uh, no, so I thought that was going to change if I you know, clicked one of these, but so it's only um, compatible are only supported, I should say, if we have um, the USD Tether stable coin. So what I need to do is sell my Bitcoin for USD Tether. So that means I need to find this pair right here, actually, the Bitcoin and USDT, USDT Tether ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. 
sell BTC. So first thing I'm going to do, so this can be kind of confusing if you're new to crypto. All right, so we see BTC and USD Tether have a pair. So we're going to go ahead and click that pair. Um, so if you didn't see that, uh, the first thing you would do is just type in BTC. And then if you do that, you'll see like what, what pairs are there, you know, for BTC. So uh, we want to sell BTC for USD Tether. So we're going to go ahead and click that. You see right here, there's a buy Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin. We want to sell. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, just click one of these current buy orders. I'm going to click 100% sell. Confirm order, input fund password. All right, so we're at the, so now on this screen, you see the Bitcoin USD Tether pair. So that means we can buy Tether with Bitcoin or that means we can sell Tether for Bitcoin. So either way it goes, you're just you know swapping either way. So we're gonna sell our Bitcoin for US, USD Tether. I'm just gonna call it Tether like most people do. Selling Bitcoin for Tether. So what I'll do first, I'll just go ahead and click the market price. Actually, so we're selling, so I'm just going to go ahead and click a, one of the limit orders right here. 100% sell. Confirm order. Fund password. Let me enter this. All right, order filled. So it looks like it was already filled. Let me see. My funds. I'm going to go check to see if it went through. Sometimes it's hard to see whether it went through or not. So I have $10 worth of Tether and $8 worth of Bitcoin. So let me see if we have open orders. I'm going to click open orders, see if we still have some pending. None. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and sell the rest of that $8 worth. So I'm going to go back to the Bitcoin Tether pair. Sell Bitcoin. So let's see. I may not be able to because it's such a small amount. I'm going to try it anyways. Confirm order. Order placed. All right, let's see. All right, so our order is open right now. Waiting for it to close. Um, that just means somebody needs to buy my sell order. because My sell order is currently sitting right here in this order. Oh, the order books are looking crazy. Just side note, look how thick the order books are on the buy side compared to the sell side. You see these, these these red bars over here, that's sell liquidity. These green bars right here are buy liquidity. Currently, you know, Bitcoin's getting bought up. Obviously, we're at 52,000. Our order has been closed because somebody else bought it. So the order is closed. That means all of my money is now in Tether. All right, so I clicked my funds. So I want to see the results of that order being closed, the order that we placed to sell everything. So now we have $15 worth of Tether. So with this Tether, I'm gonna go ahead and buy RSR with that. Because if you remember before, um, the only way we can buy RSR on gate is with Tether. So I'm gonna go ahead and type RSR to go find our pair, RSR USDT. So now we wanna buy, so we're going to buy RSR. So we're going to buy RSR with our USD Tether. So if you see right here, the Tether is being transferred to RSR. So I'm going to go ahead. We want to use all of it. So I can buy 273 RSR with the $15 worth of Tether. So I'm going to click this 100%. I want to use all of it, the current price. So if you click this, I believe it, it matches it up with the uh, current like best price. So in some cases, like you can like pick which sell orders or which buy orders you want to match up with. So if you click these, you notice the numbers over here will change. So that's 783, change 798. So I can match those up if I want to get my order filled immediately and, I, and I'm not worried about losing a, a little bit of money on you know that transaction. So what I'll do is go ahead and click. So we're buying, so I'm just going to go ahead and click a sell order. I'm going to buy this sell. I'm going to click that. 100% buy, confirm, order filled. So I'm going to check if we have RSR now. I went to my funds. All right, so yep, now we have reserve rights in our account. We have a total of 268 RSR in our account. 
that's worth fifteen dollars. Uh, just curious. I want to see if we can withdraw this. The fees might eat up everything. Let's see what the fees will be. So uh, we have two hundred and sixty-eight RSR. The fee to send this out is two hundred and sixty RSR. So it's not worth it, of course. Let's see. So all in all, we have fifteen dollars worth. I put in twenty dollars in Coinbase. Over overall, we lost about five dollars. That gives you a little taste of like fees, you know, that will eat up your, you know, your account size if you trade a little bit too much or transfer a little bit too much, especially if you're dealing with smaller balances. Um, but the fees would have been way worse if we tried to do it on Coinbase Wallet. So you would get your address from your ledger. So you need to set up your ledger and get your Ethereum address from Ledger Live. That's probably the first place you'll figure out your address in Ledger Live. And you'll get your Ethereum address from there because Ledger supports ERC20 tokens. You can then get that Ethereum address from Ledger Live, copy it, paste it right here. Um, right here, you would put the amount. So most cases, you're going to just go ahead and do all of it, um, whatever your maximum is in your account, obviously. And then um, also, you're going to have to put your fund password in. I have my fund password activated on Gate just to you know create another level of security. And then TOTP, uh, I'm not even sure what that stands for, but that's your authenticator password from your authenticator app on your phone. Um, I can um, definitely put some links below about, you know, more information about that. But that's all for this video. I just want to show you guys how to buy RSR on gate. Like I said, it's not worth it to withdraw. So I'm not going to withdraw to my ledger because I'm going to lose that $15. That's it for this video. If you guys have any other questions interested in buying RSR on any other platforms, please let me know. And with that, have a blessed one. Um, stay positive, stay healthy, and stay strong. For those of you that are new here, Please subscribe and like if you're interested in um, low cap cryptocurrency opportunities that potentially could change your life because that's what I'm interested in. And um, let's go on this journey together.